Hey Leo, welcome to your May 2021 General Energies Tarot Reading with me, Stella Wild. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, General Energies for May 2021. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. If you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the goodness that happens on this channel. And since these are general readings, apply the energies as to how they best fit your particular situation. All right, Leo, let's get into your reading. So I'm going to start with this deck. It's the Bold and Bodacious, just the major arcana. And I'm going to pull an energy that is supporting you this month. Energy where uh, your attentions may be focused. Your overall theme for the month ahead, no reversals, Gemini, lovers. Okay, so lovers energy. So this can be, yes, a love relationship. This can be anything Gemini related, writing, teaching, speaking, publishing, networking, sales, internet, communications, etc., and so on. Um, this can also be a wish that you have been wanting to manifest because Gemini is your 11th house if you have Leo rising. Uh, it can signify making a choice between two potential people, two potential projects, two potential wishes coming true. We got to pull some more cards. Um, person, obviously, who's a Gemini may be important uh, in your life this month as well. But let's see what else we have. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Love message. I'm feeling somebody might get a very out of the blue love message this month. And it might be, it might be around that, uh, the station when Mercury goes retrograde. So around the 29th or the 30th of May, very possible. I am feeling surprise energy connected to this in some way. All right, here you are again, the strength, Leo. Well, not again, but here you are, Leo and the Knight of Wands. Wow. So whatever the six of uh, the major arcana, the six, whatever the lovers represents for you, if it does represent a love right relationship, this is very sexy. I mean, I just have to the strength and the Knight of Wands. My gosh, like that is high octane uh, sexology going on here. I mean, let's just say it. That's, that's what this is. Um, there is a real lusty, luscious connection with this person. Um, now if this does not refer to somebody in your life right now, this person could be coming into your life. There could be a very unexpected Knight of wands is fast. It moves in very quickly. You really didn't know where did that come from? So somebody who has a passion to match your own, could be coming in Leo really out of the blue. That's what I'm saying. There's a surprise. I'm just feeling surprise energy connected with this. If you already have a partner, there could be a surprising reconnection with your partner. Maybe you guys, you know, it's not that you felt disconnected necessarily, but because you guys have a strong bond. I mean, that's showing up here with the strength. So, um, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes, even in the best relationships. So this energy is signifying to me, if you already have a partner in your life that you guys reconnect, there could be, you know, a nice date night going on <laughs> for you guys. I encourage you to do that. If you, especially if you've been really distracted by work and lots of things percolating that you make time for each other this month, Leo. All right. Your partner has been very patient. That's the other thing with the strength energy here. Your partner has been... I'm thinking actually of one Leo in particular um, and his partner. I'm thinking about it and I'm like, your partner has been very patient waiting for you to kind of like, you know, get it together. So get it together. All right, let's see what else. <laughs> let's see what else we have. But I mean, it's nothing bad with the relationship. It's just, you know, you guys got to reconnect. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's getting... Somebody, the Queen of Swords gets very snappy with her tongue or his tongue. We're just reading the energy here. So, you know, very cranky, snappy, like snarky comments, sarcastic when they feel that lack of connection. So again, if, if your partner has, has not been feeling that connection from you 
or you haven't been feeling it from them, this energy could be hanging around. So now we have to be careful of our tongue in the month of May because Mercury is going to go retrograde. We're going to be in Mercury retrograde shadow period. You don't want to be saying something that later you will regret when you're just feeling frustrated. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. So yes, there has been a lot of emphasis, I feel, on the family finances, shoring up the finances, working on longer term financial security. Um, so again, that that could have been something that was a distraction from the personal relationship a little bit. Um, but this energy is also signifying, Leo, that there could be a, a decision, Queen of Swords, that you do need to make about some sort of investments or family, just family security, um, your home, whether you live with somebody, you live alone, whatever, there could be just something to really take a look at. You may be making some decisions about investments um, and real estate situations, maybe somebody moving in, moving out, Knight of Pentacles showing up. Page of Pentacles, wow. Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, Magician. All right, so there is a decision to be made here. Um, like I said, for some of you, there's something going on with um, the, the home finances. The Knight of Pentacles is here. So the buying, the selling, the refinancing, you know, we've discussed some of these issues in the money and career uh, situation, but this is about bringing, ultimately making a decision to bring more foundational security to your life, but also to your relationship, because let's face it, this is the energy that came out first. So again, I feel you have a strong bond with your partner, um, but it needs some shoring up is what I am feeling because the emphasis has been a lot on the money, as I was saying. So we got to shift away from that a little bit, make a decision to spend more time together. So we have this page of pentacles here, nine of swords, page of swords. Somebody is feeling un undervalued, nine of swords. Somebody is worried, somebody is upset. I'm telling you, there's somebody who has some cranky energy in your world, uh, somebody important to you, could be a ch child because of the two pages that are showing up here and they just need to feel your love and support a little bit more. Um, so you're going to make the effort. The magician is here. You're going to make the effort to spend time, page of pentacles, to invest in time, to allay their fears and to have some nice conversations with them as well. Page of swords. So could be air sign kids, earth sign kids. They could be having some sleepless nights. They just need to feel that connection a little more strong with you. Again, nothing to be worried about here, but they may have sensed that there was a lot going on with the family. You know, children pick up on energy so strongly. Going on a lot with the family finances that, you know, parents or a parent was distracted by that. And they're just needing a little bit of TLC. Same thing with your partner. Same thing. So... Um, time to invest in that. Now, others of you, what I am really feeling, if there is not love in your life, or this is a connection that you've been kind of that, you know, cause coming in quickly, there may be a lot of messages. There may be a little bit of doubt and worry as to whether or not this is really real. Like, is this for real, this person? And so you're doubtful. You're a little skeptical. Queen of Swords. You're like, you know, this that's that uh, quizzical Queen of Swords, like questioning everything. Um, but if there is somebody new coming in or even somebody from the past, not that you dated before, but that you kind of connected, but nothing ever came from it for whatever reason. If this person comes back, they have solid intentions. You know, they're in a better place right, you know, right now because we have this 10 and the Knight of Pentacles, they didn't forget the connection that you, the sparks that flew between the two of you, they didn't forget that. Um, and there is very possibly, you know, a message, they reach out to you to allay, you know, you've been worried about it, it's back in your mind, like, are you gonna hear from this person again? It's probably not, you know, but there is still haunting your dreams because the Nine of Swords is here, it's like that type of thing. Um, but then the Magician manifests, so, there really could be 
there really could be some sort of magical connection and or reconnection that happens for you, Leo, with somebody. And when I mean reconnection, again, it's not an ex, but somebody that you connected with before you just couldn't get together. You know, strangers on a train, like, <laughs> like that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Just paths were going in different places, but something has shifted. Something has changed in the circumstances. I do feel they are legit though. I do feel that from these energies. Um, but you know, it's okay. It's, it's, it's all right to be skeptical and ask questions. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but don't let this perhaps keep you from an opportunity and a connection that really could be magical. All right, Leo, let's pull from this deck and see what else may be in focus for you in the month of May. And then we'll clarify that with additional tarot. This is looking to be a very interesting month for you. Oh, this is beautiful. You got devotion. I mean, the picture is not great. <laughs> I'll explain the picture, but, but this is Saturn and Libra. So devotion, that you know, a life partner, a partner, somebody you're absolutely devoted to. You see this poor bird is, is splatted on the ground. And this person, this, look, this person, <laughs> this morning dove is still standing by the bird who's been flattened, unfortunately. Um, but we're not going to say that something in your life is going to be flattened. No, 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 we don't go there. <laughs> we are going to work with the, with the energies of commitment, Saturn in Libra. So seventh house life partner energy they are you are this because you're leo you are the sun they are the moon together you make the galaxy of love so oh my god was that cheesy that was a little cheesy okay okay all right we're your big old romantic soul leo so it's okay but we have libra energy popping in here um, with that card. So it could be something going on with Libra. We had the queen of swords before, so that is possible. All right, let's, let's, uh, clarify this devotion. This is an interesting theme that's coming up for you, especially because, you know, we had the pair here as well. We, uh, look at this again, the knight of wands, Leo. You better get ready, Leo. And the Ten of Pentacles again. We just had that. All right. So uh, this just is affirming the energies we have already had. So this connection, this devotion, this sun, the moon, etc., this committed energy is stable, but it's also sexy. And the thing is with this person, whether a new person coming in and it develops over time or it's a long-standing relationship, Ten of Pentacles, a marriage of a long time. This person would jump through hoops for you. This person would walk on fire for you and you would do the same for them. So again, this is, this is a strong bond. This bond is worthy. This relationship is worthy of devotion. So very interesting. And as I said, they're stable. If this is new coming in, they are in a more stable place. Like they could have had financial issues before since this has come out twice now. And that could have been the reason where, wh why, Leo, they couldn't get with you before. It wasn't you personally. They could have had job responsibilities. They could have been wrapping up something with their family. Like there could have been an inheritance. They were an executor of an estate. They just didn't have time. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities with the Ten of Pentacles. They had to deal with maybe getting a new job. They had a lot of money issues going on to manage. So again, if this per Knight of Wands, I'm telling you, somebody comes in fast or the person reconnects very quickly. Um, but it's because they're in a different place. And also if it's a new person coming in, they are also ready for a commitment. Ten of Pentacles. They're ready for something solid in their life. They want a commitment. And that's also evident by the fact that we have devotion. They want a life partner. They don't want a fly by night situation, even though we do have a lot of sexy energy here and the, you know, they want the soulmate. So, and I don't toss around that word 
very often on this channel, as you may know, if you've been watching me for a while, I really only say it when I absolutely feel it and need to say it. Um, so, yeah, because sometimes when an energy is very sexy, sometimes it, it is just that. It's just sexy. And there isn't other things behind that, like heart energy, soul energy, spirit energy, etc. Sometimes it can just be the physical as evidenced with this. But I don't feel that now that I'm seeing this energy, the Ten of Pentacles again, etc. So more Libra, justice. It is possible also. So again, it could be Libra you're involved with. It is very possible that this person had a legal issues as well going on for them. Um, it is also possible that they got a divorce finally. That's another possibility here. Now, again, I'm not saying you were involved in third party before. I'm not saying that. I, I mean, with, this happens. Like you meet somebody, they're just not available. All right, so you go your separate ways. But if there was a real spark between you, it can sometimes be very hard to get somebody out of your brain, out of your mind. We know that nine of swords when there is that strong pull. So when they do get free, if they do get free, which it seems like it's possible with this justice, they don't forget. They want to they wanna find the person that makes them feel like this. So very interesting. For those of you in a relationship already, you've, you've got to bring the balance back. Justice, got to bring it back to putting the two of you front and center. There's been too much, I've already said this, too much distractions with, of course, yes, practical practicalities you needed to focus on that but you guys gotta gotta bring the balance back even if you only just start doing one date night a month i mean something to really start reconnecting very important uh here we go king of wands <laughs> so this of course is your energy this could be your partner's energy as well this could be the you know aries leo sagittarius this could be the again <laughs> passion but notice in this card which is why i love switching up decks is the passion's coming from the heart it's coming from the heart it's not just the libido so this is this if you have a love in your life already really cherish it leo because you guys have a passionate love connection soulmate connection like beautiful connection bring balance back to it don't let them feel undervalued all right they need a little tlc but for those of you with this new thing coming back around somebody new popping in etc this really could be a connection a love of a lifetime for you finally coming in finally opening up so get ready <laughs> get ready leo this whew, i thought the woo getting hot in here that was very intense intense uh, energies showing up here leo so my goodness leave me a comment and let me know how you plan to use these energies in your life in the month of may inquiring minds would like to know i'm being very queen of swords right now <laughs> inquiring minds would like to know leo all right i love you guys have a great may take care i will see you again soon stella wild signing out